welcome to the Thursday edition of DC Today, back in the New York City studio office. Um, uh, kind of interesting day in markets. It's going to be a short little report today. You'll have a dividend cafe tomorrow, as always, Friday. And the way I'd sum up kind of markets today is it was a little 2022-ish. You had almost all of the defensive sectors up, the leading Sector on the day was utilities, which were up uh, one and a quarter percent. Um, you had technology was the worst performing sector, and it was down over one and a half percent. And included in positive territory were other sectors like real estate, healthcare, um, consumer staples, things like that. And the Dow ended up being up 57 points. And the S&P was down a third of a percentage point. The NASDAQ was down almost 1%. So you've, you've had a little bit of a, uh, and it isn't much yet, but over a couple of days, a little bit of a um, 2022-like deal where Dow defensives, this type of stuff has done a bit better. Uh, still on the year, though, obviously, uh, NASDAQ is, is up significantly. There were some perhaps uh, news interventions in, into markets. I'm always very hesitant to say what caused a particular market activity because oftentimes what causes um, markets to do something is nothing whatsoever, or nothing definable or provable or measurable whatsoever. But I do suspect that the reports that have come out, which are not really totally clear or specific or ver verified, um, uh, nevertheless, I put a link to the kind of major report from Bloomberg in D.C. Today today about uh, the Chinese government potentially banning or further restricting um, government employees from having iPhones. And so there's not just the impact it could have to Apple, but it just does seem to be a form of escalation in this economic tension between the U.S. and China. And again, it's not even really clear to me exactly what may or may not be um, true in the whole news story there. Um, the U.S. dollar, this speaking of something is true, is uh, was up again and is on pace, if it doesn't give this back tomorrow, to end up with the eighth consecutive week of dollar appreciation versus a basket of other currencies. And that would be the longest streak of positive performance for the dollar if it does indeed close up eight weeks in a row since 2005, not exactly what a lot of people were, were predicting earlier in the year. Oil was still right there around the $87 a barrel level today, not a huge move. Uh, bonds were up a tiny bit uh, near the end of the day in particular. Yields moved and you had the tenure was down four basis points, but it's still sitting at about four and a quarter. But this is about the third or fourth time it's gotten above 4.3 and kind of come back. So we'll, we'll sort of see what it does there. Um, weekly jobless claims this morning came at 216,000. That was 13,000 less than the week before. And that is the fourth consecutive uh, weekly decline in number of initial jobless claims. That's all seems to me to be a very good thing. It is at the lowest level since February now. But the only caveat I wanna give, and I do this whether the data looks a little higher or lower, is running a three or four week average to just confirm that there's nothing lumpy in the data. And I think it's a harmless thing to do and it leads to a much better uh, data point. And because of the Labor Day holiday on Monday, I do suspect it's possible that there's some stuff missing in the data this week. Maybe there isn't, but I'd rather wait till next week to talk about it further. Uh, there is a link in the DC Today today to uh, my appearance on Varney this morning where he and I covered number of different topics. Like I said, you'll have Dividend Cafe tomorrow, and I'm going to basically leave it there, up on the Dow today, down on the NASDAQ, and overall just, you know, not a lot of movement in markets these days as we await a number of things to kind of see what the next step in this ongoing saga may be. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for reading the DC Today, and I will see you tomorrow in the Dividend Cafe.